My best friend Nara and I went to the Gishigosh courts to play a game. Gishigosh is very fun to play. You win the game by hitting a Gishigosh with your tail and sending it into the goal. Whoever scores the most goals wins. The only problem is that the Gishigosh can sometimes be sticky, and if they stick to your tail they take a long time to get off. At the courts, two other narbles came by and asked Nara and I to play against them. Nara was very good at Gishigosh and I had never beaten her, so I was glad we would be playing on the same team. She scored five goals right away. But pretty soon our teams were tied. The other narbles would yell at each other when they did. Something wrong. I went to whack a Gishigosh with my tail, but it stuck right to it. Oh no. I thought, the game's almost over and we'll never win now. But then I had an idea. I started touching all the Gishigosh with my tail until I had six of them stuck to me. As time ran out I swam as hard as I could even though it was hard to move with all those Gishigosh stuck to me. I swam right through the goal and scored six points at once. As Nara and I celebrated. She said had never seen a player do that before, but she was glad that I had. I went to the sea library to find a good book to read. The librarian, Mrs. Eel, told me to read Captain Orangebeard and Sandy Isle. The book was about a captain whose beard was so orange that ships could see it for miles away. He was always looking for gold and other kinds of treasure and his ship was called the Orange Letter. One day he took his treasure map and set sail for a small island called Sandy Isle. When he landed, he started walking through the jungle until he came upon a cave. He knew it must be filled with treasure, but the opening was blocked by a tribe of monkles and they wouldn't let him pass. Since Captain Orangebeard was such a brave and smart pirate, he thought of a plan to get by them. He went to the monkles' huts nearby and shaved off his beard when he placed his bright orange hair on their roofs, the monkles came running because they thought their huts were on fire. While they were gone Captain, Orange Beard went inside the cave, found a huge chest of treasure and brought it back to his ship. I asked Mrs. Eel what was in the treasure chest, but she told me that I would have to check out the next book to find out. The Water Gnome Village is always a fun place to visit. I got invited to join them for a big party. They always throw the best parties with lots of music and dancing, the food isn't my favorite, but they seem to like it. But, when I got there, no one was dancing and I didn't hear any music. We can't make music because someone has stolen the drum, they said, and without music we can't dance. I knew I had to help them get their drum back. I swam around looking for the drum. When I reached the edge of the village I heard the rum-tum-tum of an underwater drum. I quickly found the culprit and it was a swimming gungaloo. Why did you take the drum? I asked. I'm sorry. He said it's just that I never get invited to the water gnome parties, and I love music so much. You shouldn't steal, I said, but I might have a solution. I brought the swimming gungaloo and the drum back to the water gnomes. This gungaloo found your drum. I said as they cheered. Perhaps you can let him play a song as a thank you. And when he did, we all danced to the song. The salty bubble holes are at the very bottom of the ocean. Huge bubbles shoot out from little tubes on the sand. If you stand right over them, the bubble will shoot you up too, and take you for a fun ride. One day, I was swimming by when I saw a blyfish sitting next to the holes, looking sad. What's wrong? I asked. Everyone has so much fun riding the bubbles, but I'm too big. They always pop when I stand on top of them, said the blyfish. Hmm, I said, maybe I can help. I pushed the tubes until they pointed towards each other. When the bubbles came out they started joining together and forming big super bubbles. The blyfish knew just what to do. When he swam over the tubes this time, a super bubble shot out and gave him a fast and fun bubble ride. Thank you, he yelled as he shot out of sight.